Brassy minnows spent, coho salmons desiccated, African elephants slumped on far-off runoffs, a scowling whip of banishment, sending ash, dust, and radiant clouds across every community, encounters still befuddled by a rattle for only a succumbing, hurt and grief, butchered. Gibbons, Maasai giraffes, Siberian tigers, slaughtered, until not even Roosevelt elk, Bactrian camels, and musk oxen can endure. Our present, lucky world. How long will it continue? I can't dish. While we cease, it can't ever finish. But we never cease. We only jet from such an armistice, exhausted. Actions long over, encounters undone, abandoning us to windy roads, all skinny, purplexed, and alone. Bullfrogs long dead, without caring. I'm terrified. What stillness unbounds us, and why can't we turn around? Especially with northern racers lifeless off to the side. Because we're frightful? Beyond the limits of life? Only frequently alive? Haley's Oldsmobile F-85 drives on. Go. 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 I. Oh. Scarums tumbling down. Screams rolling down upon our push. The sadness of the world before us. But we are already after us. And sadly passing even us. So I hold on to Haley, who keeps zinging up, flinging by what's always staying, marshalling bends, diversions, and closures. There goes me. There goes. Me too. Roads loosening, escalating, coming apart, gumming us with sand and ice-enslaved rock, until Haley's galaxy starliner backs off, finally stops, pistonings turned off, the wheel hers no more. We're stuck. She's my west. And we've reached the mountain. And though we're not strong, the strong are not strong. And so we undo all strong and weak. And then by foot, we carry on.